politeness, can I, and cultural context. Navigating English offers with grace. Hello, language enthusiasts. In today's episode, we will dive deep into the topic of politeness and making offers using the phrase, can I? We'll be focusing specifically on cultural considerations that are paramount when using this phrase. English is spoken in many different cultures and understanding these subtleties can truly elevate your conversational English skills. So, let's jump right in. When you say, can I, you're offering to do something for someone else. It's a polite way to extend a helping hand. For instance, you might say, can I help you with those bags? When you see someone struggling with heavy luggage, or, can I make you a cup of coffee? When you see someone looking tired. This usage implies initiative and willingness to assist, and is often well received as a gesture of politeness and kindness. In the English language, the level of politeness can vary based on culture. In some cultures, directness is appreciated, while in others, a more indirect approach is considered polite. For example, in American English, using can I to make an offer is straightforward and quite common. But in British English, people might prefer a more formal style like might I or may I. Remember, it's not just about the words you use, but also about your tone, body language, and the context in which you're speaking. Paying attention to these elements can help you navigate cultural differences and communicate more effectively. Understanding the context and cultural background of your listener can influence how you make offers using, can I? For instance, in formal situations or in cultures where a high level of respect or formality is expected, you might opt for, might I? Or, may I? On the other hand, in more informal or relaxed cultures or settings, can I may be more appropriate and natural sounding. Also, keep in mind that making an offer isn't just about being polite, it's also about being sincere. Regardless of the phrase you use, if your tone and manner convey sincerity, your offer will likely be well received. Navigating the cultural intricacies of the English language can be challenging, but with knowledge and practice, it becomes a rewarding journey. We hope that this video has given you some useful insights into making polite offers using can I in different cultural contexts. Remember, the key to effective communication lies not just in your vocabulary, but also in understanding and respecting the cultural backgrounds and preferences of your listeners. Keep practicing, and you'll continue to refine your conversational English skills. We hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for our next lesson on conversational English. Until then, happy learning!